you are one of the most celebrated artists in the world. This is true. You know, apart from Titian and Leonardo, no one has been, you know, celebrated in his life as you are. In uh, 2018, Time magazine has been listed the most influential people as Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos or, or Jennifer Lopez. And uh, pop. <laughs> if we go to pop. Yes. And what do you think about success today? What's success for you? You know, if success comes when you're very young, like 23, 24, 35, really can ruin you. And I saw so many examples of the friends of mine who've been ruined by very early success because they are too young to handle it and you don't know really how to behave. So you start uh, thinking you are kind of God and your ego go to Himalaya and then you start drinking and take and just die from overdose or, or you know, over repeat your work. But you know, my success came so late. It's 50 years, it's a half century, my dear. Half century of hard work, half century so much, you know, um, work that I convinced everybody, the entire world, the performance is important. Nobody believed in performance is art form at all. So, you know, when it came at that late stage, you know, I, I um, don't see success as something that I, you know, have to build my ego. I only see as more responsibility to my work. I was six. I was in Bologna. And my father was, you know, pushing me through the doors no. and <laughs> and you were there with Yulai and I perceived immediately the power you had in provoking and yeah in provoking yeah instilling emotions how can we do nowadays to do the same I mean in my opinion this world is completely empty of real emotions do you have a recipe you know, first of all, people are afraid of emotions because they're afraid of suffering. If you really love, you know that love can not last forever, then you have to suffer. So love is suffering is connected. So people prefer not to love and not to suffer. But at the same time, it means not living, it means halfway living, it means you don't have your feeling. And you know, the, my work is very emotional, always deals with high emotions. And I'm not afraid of love and not afraid of suffering. But I really think that um, I would like to create um, something called Abramovich Method these days, that I help people how they can actually get more contact with themselves. Because technology took entire relation to the, our senses way. You know, we, we don't use telepathy, we don't use extra sense of perception, we don't use intuition, and we kind of behave more a little bit like a robots. So my work is really to go back to simplicity to our own self. How we do that? You know, first you have to put in the locker your watch, your computer and your telephone. You have to put the headphones to block the sound completely from outside. And then you have to be still with yourself. It's a very, very good exercise to start with. I was in New York. Uh, you were performing for more than seven hundred hours. The thing that really, really touched me was the capacity you had in connecting ourselves to silence, to our inner silence. Uh, do you think nowadays there is a possibility to shout on one hand and on the other hand there is a possibility of being silent, being disconnected, so really connected with what we are feeling? So of course it's possible, it's only about your own inner discipline, which people don't have these days, and really motivation, what you really want to do with yourself. And my very simple exercise I would like to give to everybody who listens to this program is, very, I'm just telling you now, so there is always the days, maybe weekends, when you feel full of energy and then you plan that you're going to spend with the friends, go shopping, go to the cinema, and end of the day you spend all energy away, and then you're tired again. But what if that day when you have so much energy, you sit on the chair in your space, you switch off the phone, you switch off the computer, you switch any device you have around you, you sit on the chair and do absolutely nothing for the entire day. You don't need to be motionless. You just do nothing, voluntary nothing. So what happened to the energy that you had in the beginning? 
is not going to be spent from outside. The energy goes inside yourself and you actually completely start seeing the, the yourself in a different way. Simple exercise, just do it. Undeniably, you have used your body as no one else. On the other hand, nowadays, we are using uh, our body and our features and our biography uh, in this very dangerous, in my opinion, over exposures of ourselves. You mean Facebook, Instagram, yeah, yeah. Uh, social media? Yeah. Do you think it's good? Do you think we have to do something against? Do you think we have just to accept it? You know, you, you can't actually go against spirit of time. But everything is to do with moderation. And it's interesting how people really to like to expose themselves, you know, from the point where they eat in the morning till what kind of nightclub go in the evening. But who cares? Why we care about all this? You know, why we don't read a good book? I mean, it's really state of mind they have to change. And things will be different. You know, uh, if I'm thinking about, you, you once you said, we are living doors. I do agree with this. And uh, every single time, me and all the others around me, I mean the audience, where we were changed a bit. To me is, you know, what a real artist can do, change ourselves a bit. So, which is a way of teaching. Desperately, to me, why I'm so at attached to performance as uh, for me the really important form of art because it's so difficult and it's time-based and it's to do with life energy. It's very different when you do look the painting on the wall and it's very different if you look like person performing in front of you. If the good performance, it's really good, it can be transformative energy and force to the audience. But if it's bad performance, you just go really empty and angry. So it's really important to kind of get to the point to see really good stuff. But if you were requested to teach something to young people, people, what it would be? I used to teach more than 25 years in different schools around the world. And now I have my institute, which I actually giving the courses and doing the workshops. But, you know, to teach young people, not performance, but just general audience, you know, it's, it's, I actually made my book biography recently called Walking Through the Walls. And this book is not actually dedicated just to art audience, much larger. It's dedicated to everybody. It's really to talk about, you know, life, talk about hardship, the humor, the broken hearts and everything else, but also to find out how you can make it if you really, that you have willpower to do it. I literally walk through the walls and, you know, the motto of young people should be, if you say no to me, it's just the beginning, you know, and don't be afraid of anybody and anything and don't look around, but look deep in yourself. This is the, the, the kind of basic things, because we always like to be told what to do, or we are so easily influenced. But then you lost yourself, because it's, 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 there is around you visual pollution, there is uh, art pollution, there is uh, uh, the sound pollution, there is uh, the, the consumption pollution. It's where you find the, you, you peace, the only way to do it is look inside yourself. Of course you are celebrated as a conceptual artist as well. In my opinion, you have this very specific sense of humor, which comes, I think, from your intelligence, from your country But well. also Slavic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we like black yes. stuff. Sorry. And you know how difficult it is to be politically correct these days? Yeah, because I, I think, imagine. I think that my work, 80%, I could never do today what I've done in the 70s because of this political correctness. Yeah. I think political correctness is damaging the damaging creation. But do you think we should laugh more about something and about what? Or maybe sometimes we are laughing too much to cover what is dangerous, what we have to hide. You know what His Holiness Dalai Lama said? He always starts his talks with a joke. He said it's so important with the humor to open the heart. And after the heart is open, then you are ready for terrible truths. Last year in uh, Cannes Film Festival, the Palm d'Or was given to as given to uh, the Square. Okay, this Swedish film very against. I mean, very critical about the art 
world nowadays. Uh, cynical, f founded on money. They think we are pushing a bit too much the pedal on money in comparison to art nowadays. Or this, not? Uh, the, you have to look the big picture. Yeah. To answer this, I'm going to answer you. I was just recently reading the biography of Michelangelo, yeah. and now we are in Florence. So Michelangelo, all his writings to different popes, Medici and aristocrats is about asking the money. He never had the money for the good marble, the marble come and is cracked, or it's too small, or they can't be delivered on time, and so on. He was so jealous of Leonardo da Vinci, who he said always wear the fine clothes, smell completely on perfume, and he hates him for this, and he's rich. <laughs> so, you know, only the protagonists these days are changing. Names are different, story is always the same. I've been a journalist for many, many years, and a uh, communication manager for Fashion World, and now I'm teaching in Polymoda, okay? And I've never thought it was one of the most wonderful immersion in, yeah, in, in uh, meeting people and giving them what I have, the little one I have, you know, the few things I have. Uh, do you think that in terms of education, we are doing as adults what is uh, necessary, I mean, we are doing well or we should do more? Education is disaster everywhere. <laughs> it's good, it's not good at all. We don't teach this nothing. We, we, we just encourage more video games who are based on violence. What about meditation in the school? What about they really encourage the kids to read the, the, the books and not just to Google on the website the answers? I mean, I think that we are really doing very poorly right now. You said if someone is giving to me his time, I will make it an experience. So you have done. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Thank, Thank you. you.